Next up is the laptop we all fell in love with here at the Gadget 360 show. This is the Asus ZenBook 14 Flip OLED. Very sleek, elegant design. Love the way they've made it. All made out of aluminum alloy. Great keyboard, massive trackpad. Trackpad also doubles as a touch-sensitive number pad. And it has support for USB-C charging and has a great selection of ports also. Pretty much everything you need is all covered. Now, let's come down to the display fan. Fantastic. 2.8K OLED display, color accurate, very safe for the eyes. Great, I mean, really, really nice, accurate colors. Great performance also, the Ryzen 7, 16 GB of RAM in the unit that they sent to us. Fans more or less remain silent even under heavy load, and you will get about 10, 11 hours of battery life. What's not to love, especially at the price? 91,990. And why do they call it the flip? Well, you're about to find out. Some products come along that end up making a lot of sense and the one we have today does that pretty well. We're talking about the ASUS ZenBook 14 Flip OLED. It is a premium slim ultrabook that comes with an OLED display. Let's have a look at what it does right and what it doesn't to find out whether it is worth the premium price or not. Being an ultrabook, the design is characteristically sleek and elegant. The thickness is limited to 15.6 mm, while the weight is just 1.4 kilos. The top of the lid has a brush metal finish circling the off-centered ASUS logo. The entirety of the laptop is covered in an aluminium alloy, which is matte black and looks premium. While trying to open the laptop, it fails the single-handed opening test. The user will need to press down on the keyboard to open the lid completely. Opening up the laptop reveals the small but well spaced out keyboard and a massive trackpad. The keyboard offers a satisfactory amount of travel and feels good and easy to type on. The trackpad is massive, smooth, but takes a physical click instead of haptic feedback, so it requires a certain bit of effort to use. It can also double as a touch sensitive numpad, which can perform the job on occasion, but won't be replacing a dedicated numpad on the keyboard. The laptop, once opened, can be pushed back further till the lid is flipped back completely. This way, it can be used in different ways, as is the case with all 2-in-1 laptops. While the tight hinge makes it tough to open the laptop, what it fails at is keeping the screen stable, as if the user is typing fast or using the touch screen while in laptop mode, the display shakes a lot. Moving to the sides of the laptop, we see many vents along the left and right sides along with the back. Along with the vents on the side are ports. On the left side, we get an HDMI 2.0 port along with two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports capable of driving displays and charging the laptop simultaneously. On the right side, we have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, a 3.5mm audio jack and a microSD card slot. While the microSD card could have been done away with, the USB-C charging is appreciated. Overall, the laptop feels solid throughout, whether it's the base of the keyboard or the lid. And the build quality assurance is furthered by the MIL STD 810H standards of military grade strength. Taking our gaze to the display, it remains glued to it. After all, it is beautiful. The display on this laptop is one of the very best you can get for the price. It is a 2.8K OLED panel which is smooth with a 90Hz refresh rate. It covers 100% DCI-P3 color gamut along with validations and certifications for color accuracy, HDR and eye safety. So the colors are not only plenty but also extremely accurate. At maxed out brightness, things explode off the screen. Watching any kind of content is a delight and color grading photos and videos will be a treat for the creators. And the 16 by 10 aspect ratio makes it taller too. But the speakers that are coupled with the display are the exact opposite. They are bad just as much as the display is amazing. The bass is non-existent and they sound tinny. So easily, headphones will be the way to go for content consumption. Alright, time to talk about performance. Now remember all the vents we talked about earlier? They are there for good reason. Those vents help in keeping the air circulation inside the laptop intact for performance that is powerful and efficient, while the sound from the fans does not gain many decibels. The unit that we reviewed comes with the Ryzen 7 5800H, 16GB of RAM and 1TB SSD. While performing normal tasks, the laptop blazes through. Having multiple apps open hardly bothers the internals and the fans remain dead silent. While photo editing is not much of a task on the laptop, 4K video editing works well. 
If the timeline remains largely light without many graphics, cutting up shots and color correction is smooth on the laptop while export times are acceptable. The laptop does begin to get warm while all of this happens, but the fans still keep quiet. The efficiencies of the Ryzen 7 chip also come in handy for the battery life. With average use, the ZenBook 14 Flip can stay on for 10 to 11 hours with the brightness set at 75%. As for the webcam, it is an average 720p webcam which is paired with some decent noise cancelling mics. The ASUS ZenBook 14 Flip OLED makes a whole lot of sense. It comes with a great display, solid design, good selection of ports, great performance and just the right amount of battery life. It does start at a premium price of 91,990 rupees for the variant with Ryzen 5 5600H, 16GB RAM and 512GB storage. But such a premium price becomes worth it for everything it brings to the table or occasionally to your lap.